getting back to the my picks, you can go back and there's plenty of videos there on my picks. So right now I'm coming in with I'm gonna be tearing down. I think this is supposed to be a 70, uh, 455 out of my convertible, the 70 Wildcat convertible that I got. But I want to tear it down, look, see what the block reads and everything. But this is the 455 that I want to have rebuilt. So I'm going to be tearing this down, getting it into the engine builder, uh, hopefully in the next month or so here. And, um, uh, I don't know if the guy let me film um, at his place, but hopefully he will so I can, you know, get some footage from that. So come on, guys, follow me along. I'm going to tear down this engine now and uh, just start trying to get it set up on the engine stand, get the tranny off of it. And uh, let me know what's going on, guys. Comment. Let me know. I'm going to get into tearing this baby apart. All right. Alright, so I've got the tranny set up on here. So I'm gonna try to get this tranny off of here, guys. Alright, so guys, this flywheel, the flywheel is uh, pretty much locked up on this thing, so there's no way, there's no way I'm getting this uh, transmission to come off, uh, I mean, turn the flywheel to be able to, so I'm going to have to try to pull this out with the truck, with the flywheel and the torque converter stand on the engine for now. Alright, so this uh, engine is locked up. See if I can get it to move at all. There we go. It was locked up at first where it wouldn't even move. So, this is a good sign. All right, so now I can get the rest of these. Uh, all right, now I can get, a, get something on the front of this engine and get this thing to turn. But I took that tranny off. Now at least I got it to move that way. So. All right, so guys, you tell me that. I don't understand that. Uh, try to go one way. With the bolt on the front, it won't turn. Make sure this now the starter ain't jammed up in there. I guess I'm gonna just have to turn this. 
a little bit at the time, guys. I don't understand. And if I go all the way with the bolt, the bolt just loosens up. So it won't turn in the front with the bolt, but at least I can get it to turn by the flywheel here. So let me come in and get the rest of these. Uh, Where is this one at? Okay, that one's out already. I got a long way to go here, guys. All right, so I'll let this down on the tire. But I'm telling you, when you get a certain spot on this engine, this thing just don't want to, it don't want to move. It ain't never no fun when you get something that don't want to work right, come loose. But after working this thing back and forth, back and forth, I finally, whatever was froze up, I think I finally got it loose, guys. So, it's still trying to tighten up on me, but. Uh, I might be able to clear that now a couple of more turns and I can get this flywheel off of here. And I've been on this. Come on now. I've been on this for about an hour. I'm taking this thing back and forth. I think that should be enough. Yeah, I think I should be able to get in there. But I had enough for today, so I'm going to leave this thing sit right where it is. And I'll come in tomorrow and see if I can get this torque converter off of here and then get it up on uh engine stand and start tearing this thing loose so